Who knew putting on hoops could be this long and deep? Oh, I don't know if I like it with my short hair. Um, like to wear hoops or not to wear hoops. I don't really wear earrings, but let's just try it. <coughs> channel welcome back to keeping it real with e hi to my new subbies how are you guys doing welcome to the family and if you have been here with me what's up what's up hello child <laughs> so today um today like the reason why i'm even glammed up is just because i just had to encourage myself and to just tell myself that the devil is actually a liar and that god's words and his promises will come to pass today i just wanted to talk about trusting god and like where i'm at with the trusting process how far you know how far i've been and what i've been up to um yeah i just wanted to speak about that you know what it is i feel like the last for the last one to two weeks i've been having this urge in me like i don't know if it's that i've been getting reminded of my dreams and my passion or i don't know i just feel like in my spirit there's like an awakening and that's just where it is and like over the last two weeks a week to two weeks now i've just been thinking about my life i've been thinking about you know where i want to be in like the next couple of years i've been thinking about where god wants me to be am i doing the right thing am i actually working in purpose P why does it feel like i'm saying papoose purpose <laughs> there's just been a lot that's been on my mind and i feel like what's worse is is when you remember all the prophecies that has been spoken over your life and you look around you and you're really thinking okay <laughs> Like what were they talking about like i am so far away from whatever i've been told when people speak about you know what god is saying about me to them or like when god is talking about all the plans that he has for me and i'm looking at my life now i'm just thinking not gonna lie i, I don't see it i don't i don't see it it can be really frustrating and i think that's what happened to me today it's just been a bit difficult of late to really like trust i feel like i'm getting a bit impatient and i don't know whether it's me being impatient or me being enthusiastic and me just being like driven just to you know get things done and just to be where i want to be or where i need to be but i really i really am praying for god to help me not to be impatient because when you make a way for yourself you will eventually pay for it you'll pay for it like Whatever way God hasn't paid for you and you've paid for yourself, it's not gonna last. You're gonna eventually fall into a bottle. Like you've paid the way for yourself. I'm like, one thing I try to remind myself is that my ways are not God ways. At this moment, I knew I messed up. Hey, English. God's ways are not my way but um yeah i've just been so discouraged because i just feel like nothing is going on in my life not that nothing is going on in my life but like nothing is happening but i think what i'm trying to even wrap my head around is just you know how i'm going to survive this summer because being a nursing student is the worst like guys i'm gonna be in the hospital i'm going to be in the hospital taking care of patients bless your soul yeah I'm not gonna ignore that. But have you seen the weather? Have you seen the UK? Have you guys seen the weather? Have you seen the weather? I'm going to be in the hospital. And I feel like in the summer, I really struggle with discontentment. Especially, I'm just thinking, Lord, like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I in the hospital? Why am I stuck in the hospital? Why am I not doing what I want to do? Why? 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 Why am I not? Why am I not? Why am I not? And I feel like God is just like, babe, 
vibe vibe you need to trust the process you really need to trust the process i remember one time i was asking him i was like lord i'm so tired of this i'm this and that and he was just like listen babe you need to enjoy the ride i said what ride what ride the ride of life is not the one it's actually not the one talk about thought park yes we can talk about that but when it comes to to to, to this life cancelled cancelled i feel like it can be difficult to trust god especially when words have been spoken over your life and you're not really seeing it come to fruition or come to pass and one thing i'm trying to remind myself or one thing i'm trying to help myself understand is that everything takes time like every single thing takes time like i'm the type of person that once you've spoken to me about something today i expect for it to happen tomorrow like that's how i am like i'm like don't talk to me if it's not gonna happen now you just get me excited and that's the thing like of course i want to be excited but knowing that it's not gonna happen right away it just breaks my heart like i want to love her hey i want to love her the thing I'm really trying to wrap my head around is the fact that in this world there are times and there are seasons and, and our God's time is actually the best and do you know what's worse guys I know that if God was to give me everything that I needed right now I wouldn't be able to to contain it I wouldn't be able to to accept it I wouldn't be able to embrace it yeah i wouldn't be able to embrace it um the way that i meant to in fact my twin sister was talking to me today yes that's right i have a twin sister and she's saying in your life like don't worry about it and like don't bother like all the things that you need or all the things that you want it's gonna happen like it just it's just not now and that i'm not gonna probably be able to appreciate things or appreciate all these things now because i don't understand what's going on and the truth is i'm so sorry i can't pursue fashion if i'm a nursing student like that like i can't be going to milan and paris what's that like if god wants to bless me with the opportunities like i think that's one thing i need to understand like god's blessings cannot conflict god and nana have blessed me with an opportunity that i wouldn't be able to accept or that i wouldn't be able to run with so all the things that i'm crying about or all the things that i genuinely want now for it to happen it can happen it just can't happen not because god is not mighty not because he's he's not a faithful god not because he's a liar but because this is just not the right time and i feel like in this time i need to appreciate the process when it comes to being a, a procrastinator a1 a1 and your life is a1 at that like i can procrastinate or not being able to take responsibility for stuff it needs to be kicked off a lot of times we downplay the learning the learning process we literally just downplay it because we just want to get to our destination so far so quick zoom and it can't happen it's just not going to happen it's just not gonna happen god will prioritize the blessings like he'll prioritize it for you you cannot prioritize it for yourself anyways Shad, i was just so irritated i was so agitated i was just like lord like why is my life not going anywhere and to the world, I swear, like, when people see you on social media, they you think your life is perfect. They actually think everything is cool. Like, she's beautiful, she's fine, she's this, she's that. They actually think that something interesting is going on. No, guys, I spend my time in the four walls of my room and the library. That's my life. That's my, that's my life. You know, social media. I just feel like I want more for my life. I just want more. I want to do more. I feel like I just... Ah, there's just a lot going on in my head and like so many dreams and talents and I'm just like like God I don't know what to do with all of these things that you've given on to me as well like all these gifts like what am I meant to do like I want to make some money as well like what am I meant to do <laughs> I think yeah I just think that you know we ought to just trust God and we just have to trust in his promises one way to actually genuinely genuinely trust god is by remembering all the things that he's done for you in the past like for example testimonies guys like i cannot lie like god has actually been working he's been doing his own thing he's been doing his own thing but me and you're like i want to get there i want to rush well fair rush i know i have rambled on i don't know if i wanted to provide a solution to this problem but it was just a discussion that i thought it would be worth having like the trusting process and just trusting god thing is painful it's really hard i'm going to relate it to a story in the bible we all remember like abraham Abraham 
how can God tell Abraham that he's going to be the father the father of all nations and yet he didn't have a son but like his blessings now came after 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 and this is why I feel like reading the word helps there are so many people in the Bible that went through the same situation as I did or as we all are going through sometimes we just forget that we have our Bible at the end of the day did God not come true did God not come true did you not come true why Jesus came through what am I saying I'm saying that it can be difficult to really trust or to really, really, really be patient with God. But at the end of the day, you have no choice but to be. And just to believe that what God actually says he will do, he will actually do. I think if there's something that I've been reading as well in my room. I've been trying to find words in the Bible to just encourage my spirit. And there's the Ephesians 3.20 that says, And now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Or according, yeah, according to the power that worketh in us. I was blown away when I saw this word. I was really blown away. This word actually made me relax myself. Like, and you're like, relax yourself. This is what the word of God says. Like, you mean all the things that I'm envisioning now, like all the things I'm thinking about now. You are actually gonna do more than this is why it's so key to trust god because as i said before his ways are not our ways like he's actually gonna do more than we think like do you know how minute we think as humans we think so little when god is like nah 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 i'm about to blow your mind like literally another bible verse i've also been um praying about or using to pray as well is a uh, what is the lamb who is slain for me to receive power riches wisdom strength glory honor praises blessings i was like jesus you mean that's what your word says like are you like god all these things these are all your promises for me really 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 <laughs> yeah, reading the word of god really encourages like it can still be difficult when you get out of the presence to still be feeling a bit sore and that but when i read that as well i was like okay god okay this is your word you know like found this is your word this is your word it can never fall to the ground this is your word I just hope that with all of the things I've said and all the ramblings I've done over there this afternoon, I hope that someone actually genuinely gets encouraged and just believes and hopes that everything will be fine and that God has you in his hands, like he actually has you in his hands, like he will actually do what he says he will do. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe and there's one more thing. Share! Share my videos guys, share my videos and comment as well. Let me know that I am not mad, I'm not crazy, that we're all going through this cycle of rubbish. You know, when the devil tries to lie to us. But God is like, now get your hands off my daughter. Yeah, bro, Christ still relevant. Yeah, you yeah. can be black while Mexican. Yeah, you yeah. can be broke or intelligent. Trust, so just, just know Christ, yeah, is relevant. Yeah, is whether God for my inner man. My inner man. Life for the sin, we not in a day. Life inner. for the king, yeah, we in a day. Yeah, we in a day. Yeah. Just know Christ, yeah, is relevant. Still relevant. I'm just gonna roll up my sleeves. It's such a beautiful day in Leicester today, and I don't care, I'm going for a walk. I am. Let me take a break from this education life. Like, student loss is not going to end. No sin is not going to kill me. Lesson is actually not going to kill me. No sin, Connie. Tommy, that's it. One minute, 37 seconds later.